why physical movement is vital for a healthy mind and a healthy gut i repeat why is physical movement vital for a healthy mind and a healthy gut that's what we are going to discover in today's in depth video my friends you know that exercise is very important for you however we associate negatively with exercise even though we know we don't do it so in this video let me offer you why physical activity and physical movement is powerful to boost your healthy mind and your digestion namaste this is sachin abar founder of self healer sub and i'm on a mission to help 100000 busy working professionals live healthier happier and energetic lifestyle by accelerating their inner gut healing power using the power of gem the gut emotion and mindset ayurveda says these three are critical for your health and today we are going to discover why physical movement is so important for a healthy gut so let's begin right so type it in the chat box pm physical movement type it in the chat box physical movement pm and let's begin today's video so let me share my screen with you because it's going to be an amazing video okay so here i am with my mind map let me open my mind map yes i hope you are able to see my mind map okay i hope you are able to see this so let me just go into the first point let me offer here to change your mind on why you should exercise or why really physical movement is vital for healthy mind and gut let's go into that first how is it important and effective in your heart okay how how it helps in your heart let's go into that let me open that up see first and foremost when you are uh, doing the physical movement it increases circulation in the body and brings oxygen into tissue you tell me my friend can you live without oxygen no right so if you are able to hold more oxygen in your body it means it's vital for your health is it not so in essence when you are automatically having more oxygen in the body your cell will glow and you look younger because it will support the skin health automatically and when you exercise you are burning off the bad cholesterols and the triglycerides and maintaining the balance in the heart and finally and when you exercise what's happening is you're sweating and you're actually removing the toxins from the body and also it helps to cool you down a little to release that stress a little right so in essence it will also lower the blood pressure because it's change when you move the blood pattern the blood pattern changes the blood molecules change the blood's thicken thickening reduces and this will reduce your blood pressure because now the blood is thin and it will not need it to be pushed with a more force so these are the four things what happens to your heart when you start moving so these are the four things which happen to your heart when you start moving okay so it increases circulation and gives more oxygen to your body and it supports your skin reduces your cholesterol and blood pressure okay so that's heart second digestion how it improves your digestion so ayurveda says uh, vyayama is very good for digestion however over doing it will reduce digestion so let's see that let's really see how it helps in digestion first it supports metabolism so in the in the meantime what i want to really tell you is this main thing is this metabolism is reducing in each and every one of us because we are moving less as simple as this if i can put it in a simple nugget we are facing digestive issues because we are moving less we are moving into a more sedentary right so the movement daily movement will help you increase your agni according to ayurveda the digestion okay second what happens is when you move your gut moves your large intestine moves your small intestine moves so what will happen your bowel movements will improve all that constipation ibs will start getting less so in essence what's happening is it's going to support your gut health by improving your digestion in your agni through your agni and promoting the bubble movements so automatically your microbes are healthy your gut is healthy awesome right two reasons i told you heart already you know how it benefits by physical movement now digestion you know how it benefits by physical movement next is immunity and lymphatic system so you have to understand each and every cell in our body has the waste right it produces the waste so all the waste of the cell are collected in lymphatic system so what happens is 
all these lymphatic systems is not going to cleanse itself when you move it gets cleansed when you start moving more in your daily life in your daily day to day activities then the lymphatic system starts getting cleaned when it start getting cleaned your immunity improves why because 70% of immunity is in digestion so you are moving more in your digestive system is clear so automatically when your digestive system is clear you are digesting food better and when you are digesting food better what happens the uh, food is broken down beautifully in the system itself it's not entering the blood and immunity is already good so it can actually look at other diseases or other viruses apart from the food right so it strengthens the immune system and it reduces the inflammation because immunity does not get triggered because the food is getting broken down correctly so it's not passing through the blood stream right so the immunity will not keep getting triggered the system will not get keep tr getting triggered and what will happen is your inflammation will also reduce so hdi right so you saw the benefits of heart you saw the benefits of digestion you saw the benefits of how physical movement helps in immunity till here i hope it's very clear to you see the power of moving more see how physical movement is helping see i'm also notice that i'm not using the word exercise physical movement is important movements represent flow now when you start moving your muscles starts improving your lean body mass improves then your muscle functioning stabilization improves and your injury and chronic pain also improve, reduces because when you start moving right you are starting to release the vata component if you have to call it in the ayurvedic terms then you are starting to move and you, your body is meant for movement and it will love it it will regain that balance right it will regain the balance when you start incorporating physical movement in your life all right so you, what did you learn till now you learned how it supports the heart the digestion the immunity and the muscles now let's go to respiration why i am taking respiration is due to this covid pandemic this is very very critical right so how physical movement helps in re respiration is this it strengthens your lungs because it's going to hold more oxygen and when you run or when you do exercise what's happening is you may panting for breath so the lungs have to improve itself so it will start improving its oxygen inside right so what will happen the more oxygen you take obviously you will exhale that so the more carbon dioxide is gone so when carbon dioxide will take out all the toxins from your body right so the more you are able to hold oxygen that much you will also exhale carbon dioxide so you will start breathing deeply and you will start breathing more from the diaphragm rather than the chest here so you see how powerful exercise is oh i'm so sorry physical movement is see the physical movement is so powerful that it will increase your oxygen holding capacity and also help you exhale more carbon dioxide give you five reasons now respirations muscles immunity digestion and heart health this is how physical movements helps you now let's let's go to skeletal now let's go to skeletal system how it helps your bones it increases bone density because you're doing weight exercises if you're used to do weight exercises then what happens is it reduces the risk of fractures and other injuries because you're strengthening your muscles when you strengthen your muscles and your bone there is less chances of fractures all right and also all these problems of bone issues right when you start coming because you start moving less automatically the bone also gets started corroding right so now the bone also needs to improve itself how only through movement and when you move the bone becomes more stronger so density improves your muscles are improving so you see how movement is incorporated into your lifestyle and how it can help you six steps already i still have one more you tell me will you keep giving excuses of social media at no time or will you incorporate more physical movement into your life your heart will improve your digestion will improve your immunity will improve your muscles will improve your respiration will improve your skeletal system will improve my friend what else do you require let me share one more thing mental health how it boosts mental health let me share that it improves memory and boosts intelligence because as you know we are increasing the oxygen in cell and each here cell we are all cells only right trillions of cells so each and every cell improves so your memory improves your intelligence improves what are the diseases with memory like alzheimers like parkinsons like if i have to put it dementia all these research has shown that reduces when you start physical moving and it's very easy guys so you have to understand when people who move consistently right they are reported to have great immunity 
they are reported to have great memory and intelligence as compared to others who don't move right if they are in 50s this it is even observed they have the cells they have the memory they have the intelligence of a 30 25 to 30 year old that's what you know physical movement does so it's very simple if i have to put it in one word if you don't use it you lose it and repeat if you don't use it you lose it so if you are going to lose what you are going to have the body it will decay right so if you are working in a manufacturing company you know that if you keep a machine for a long time it will decay or if you keep a fruit for a long time it it decays right that's nature's law similarly if you are keeping your body still it will decay decay through pain bone issues di- digestion issues everything start moving your energy your human being come on right so now it will reduce your depression and anxiety why it releases what and and endomorphin endorphins right and then it will release your serotonin right you know all this it will release this it will feel good why people go into depression and anxiety because again you are not using it the body so motion creates emotion so you are not moving automatically depression and anxiety is coming you are like you are in a swamp of water rather than a river you are not moving movement represents river stillness represent a swamp all diseases will come there right so when you start moving it will improve your self esteem it will improve you love your body wow i'm accepting how my body is and i'm really playing with my body and you will feel empowered because actually you are taking care of this vehicle which is the only place you have to live right body is the only place you have to live take care of it how by incorporating physical movement into your life you know now don't think which is good yoga is good this is good that is good swimming is good which is good bring movement climb stairs do stretches every uh, one hour every one hour after your work do up to 10 5 to 10 minute stretches bring physical movement into your life bring physical movement so let me share with you now a synopsis right let me share with you a synopsis my friends of how physical movement improves your healthy mind and digestion so here are six major seven major benefits first is heart you saw it how it increases oxygen second is digestion you saw how it improves your digestion third is your immunity and lymphatic system you saw how that that's improving fourth is your muscles start strengthening yeah you saw that fifth is respiration your oxygen levels improve carbon dioxide starts getting released efficiently sixth is your bone density improves and your skeletal system improves seventh is your mental health your memory your intelligence all get boosted when you start improving in putting physical movement into action in your life was that useful awesome hit that like button subscribe to the youtube channel and share this video with friends and if you loved this video i want you to stay connected so here are three ways you can get connected with me okay here are three ways you can get connected with me let me share with you the three ways to get connected with me all the links are in the description of this video as well okay all the links are in the description of this video as well first if you are someone who is looking to start your journey of health through health coaching then it's for time for you to join my community of growing self healers by going to this link over here bit.ly/join-shb-new link is in the description if you are someone who wants to get started on your health journey jump in it will require investment from your side make it for your health second if you are someone who wants to meet me live get into my live master class go into bit.ly/uls-webinar link is in the de- description of this video click on it register yourself for the master class finally you can join my vip group fb vip group bit.ly/selfhealersvip you can join this group when i'm recording this video the group strength is over 1000 members so join in and be part of my facebook group as well so these are the three ways you can get connected with me and i hope this video added a lot of value into your life i hope i delivered on the promise and i'm very confident that i have that i have delivered why physical movement is vital for you so start moving in your lives start enjoying this life of a human being be healthy be happy be unique until we meet again this is sachin founder of self healers hub signing off